welcome back to my channel and welcome to my TBR for the Reindeer Readathon. Um, and I believe this is my second year participating. Uh, you get sorted into different teams and the team I'm on this year is the Candy Cane Team, um, which I believe is hosted by the Nerdy Narrative. Um, I'll leave a link to the uh, announcement video um, down below in the description box if you want to go ahead and check that out. There are, I believe, 12 props, I want to say. Um, maybe. They're all props uh, that are named after Santa's reindeer. So, um, I have a stack of books here. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into the prompts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so the first, uh, each prompt, by the way, is worth a certain amount of points. And uh, so I um, report the books that I finished. And uh, there's like a form that you fill out for it. And the points go to your team. And basically, whichever team has the most points, points at the end of the readathon wins. Um, so I was on the winning team last year and I'm really hoping that we will win this year as well. Um, I'm going to do my best to help out, that is for sure. So the first prompt that is uh, on the list, I, I have my prompts over here so if I keep looking that way that's why. Um, it's Dasher for 15 points is to finish a series or pick up a book that you um, started and put down. Um, if neither of these are options, then read a short story or novella. For this, I'm going to pick up, again, The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew. Uh, hopefully this will be... Um, a motivator to help me finish this book. This is a uh, YA uh, paranormal, or not YA, sorry, new adult paranormal thriller. And uh, yeah, hoping I, I get that one. I'm not going to go too much into the books because I do that in the vlog. Um, but that is the book I'm reading for that prompt. And then uh, for Dancer, which is to read a book with a uh, cursive or a flowy or elegant uh, font on the cover. I don't really have anything like that so I decided to go <clears throat> with The Book Eaters by Sunyi Dean just because I really like the font on the cover and yeah this one um, I believe is like a dark fantasy or maybe light horror, I don't know. I'll know more once I get into it. Um, and then the next one is Prancer. I'm sorry, Dancer is worth 10 points. Prancer is worth 20 points. It's a book with your favorite season on the cover or the book cover that has colors from your favorite season on it. Um, my favorite season is Fall and this one has orange as well as orange uh, on the pages um, and this is uh, Princess of Souls by Alexandra Cristo and this is a um, I believe a YA fantasy about two people that are trying to overthrow um, the uh, royal family and then um, for Vixen which is worth 15 points uh, a book you want to read but think it might be overhyped. Um, Lord of the Fly Fest by Goldie Madowski. This is a Lord of the Flies retelling. Um, and I got it in my Once Upon a Book Club book box. Um, I want to read it because I'm interested to see how they're going to tie what's in the book box subscription along with the book. Um, it has certain points within the book, certain pages. Once you hit them, you can open up the prize. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like the book, but I always enjoy the reading experience for that subscription. And then, um, Comet is worth 25 points. It's a book with an astro 
astronomical word in the title like sun, moon, star, sky. And for that, I'm going to go with our Patreon group read for December, which is House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. This book terrifies me because it's so huge. I'm scared. Um, but yeah, that's the sequel to uh, the first book, which I can't remember the name of the title. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully I like it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Sarah J. Mass. Uh, majority of her books I don't like. But I did like the first book in the series, so hopefully I'll like this one too. Um, and then scroll up for Cupid, worth 15 points. A book with a favorite trope in it. I don't really have like a favorite trope, but I do have a book that I want to read, so we're just going to use it for this prompt. And that is called A Dark and Starless Forest. Um, by Sarah Hollowell. I love that cover, by the way. Um, so it basically follows a family of like eight siblings um, that kind of live isolated um, from the rest of the world by a lake next to a forest. And one by one, her sisters go missing and Derry's trying to figure out... Um, what's happening but also like her, her power continues to like grow and she's trying to learn how to manage that and whatnot but I really want to read it I like the fact that the main character is a plus size individual I don't see that very often um and I'm really hoping that the fat rep in here will be done well <clears throat> sorry just kind of figuring out how to stack them here in front of me um, and then Donner for 20 points is a book that you want to read but are not a fan of the cover. This one. Uh, White Horse by Erica T. Worth. This is supposed to be a horror novel, novel that follows a um, main character named Carrie um, who's mother has passed away and she's trying to investigate to find out what happened and at the same time dealing with some kind of like creature as well so this is an own voices book um interested to see um if any of the uh folklore from uh apache chickasaw or cherokee um indigenous people will uh play into this story at all um but we'll see we'll see how it goes i'm just not not a fan of the cover to be honest don't like it um blitzen for 20 points use a random number generator to find a number between zero and nine and find a book that ends in that page number so i did that i ended up with a number five and for that I got Flash Fire by TJ Klune, and this ends on page 365, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, ends on page 365. So this is the sequel to The Extraordinaries. I can't really tell you what this book is about uh, without spoiling the first book, but I love TJ Klune. Um, I just, I, I love Klune's books. They're awesome. So excited to read that one. Well, the pile is getting pretty high and then the last prompt um is rudolph for 15 points start a new series yes i'm finally gonna read strange the dreamer by laney taylor i've had this on my shelf for a while now um i don't need to tell you what this one's about everybody knows what this book's about i feel like everybody has read it but me um but it is part of a duology there's strange the dreamer and then muse of nightmares i have both books so if I can read this book in December, maybe I can finish it in January. And then there's these extras or bonus points that you can get. Uh, Christmas Star for 25 points.
points, a book over 500 pages. Now they have to coincide with one of the prompts. So I can't pick a different book for this. It has to be something I've already picked here. So either it will be The House of Sky and Breath or, um, oh, try not to sneeze, or Strange the Dreamer. How many pages is this? 532. So it could be either of these. Christmas Lights for 15 points is to read an ebook. Um, I don't have an ebook here, so I won't be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> a Christmas Carol 20 points is an audiobook. I definitely have one of these books in audiobook format, so I could definitely do that. Um, and you know what? I take the back. I have a physical copy of the book eaters here, but I do have an ebook copy as well because I did get it as an advanced reader copy. So I could do that instead of reading the physical book. So I could complete those. And then if you complete all of your bonus point prompts and all of your regular prompts and you feel like slaying it, slaying it prompt for 50 points, um, is you can redo one prompt of your choice for extra points. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. We'll see how my reading goes. Um, but if I do, I will let you know in the reading vlogs. So that right here, that, oh, I don't know, this is heavy. Okay, hold on. Oh my God, this is my TBR for the Reindeer Readathon. I'm putting it down though, because it's heavy. Uh, wish me luck. I don't know if I can get through all of them. I got to see if I can find some audiobooks. Um, let me know if you've read any of the books that are in my TBR. And if there's any that you think I need to prioritize, let me know. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you have not already, please click on that subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of my content. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!